In this video, you'll learn how to create a welcome series automation that will automatically send a series of emails to a subscriber after they've signed up. In this video, we'll be going through a basic one that anyone can use. Our first email will be an email introducing ourselves to our newsletter subscribers when they first sign up. Our second email will link to a survey to collect valuable information. And then our third email will be a follow-up to subscribers who haven't filled up the survey within a period of time. Let's get into it. First, log into your Beehive account and go over to Write and Automations. In the top right, click on New Automation. Now click Set Trigger. When this trigger goes off, the automation will begin. In this case, the trigger will be when someone signs up to our newsletter. So click on Set Trigger, then Add Trigger, and then select Signed Up. Now make sure to toggle on Activate and hit Save. Now that we have the trigger set up, after someone signs up, we want them to be sent an email. To do this, press on the plus icon and then press send email. Now hit the settings icon and then create new email and draft out your email. Because this is the first email to be getting from me, I'll be introducing who I am and what my newsletter is about. When you're done, go back by hitting exit in the top left and hit activate and save. Now let's work on the second email. In our second email, we'll be sending out a survey that will be collecting valuable information like the name of our subscribers, their location like city and country, as well as their age. Once again, press on the plus icon and press on send email. And then hit the settings icon. And for time delay, we can set it at one day, meaning we'll wait one day after the last email was sent before sending this email. Now to create the survey form we'll be linking in this email, we can actually create this in Beehive as well. In a new tab, open up Beehive, go over to Audience and Survey Forms, and from here, click on Create Form. Here you can title your survey form and give it a description so your subscribers know what the form is about. And after this, you can create your questions. Click Add First Question and write out your first question. In this case, we'll be asking them for their first name. Now you'll see an option to set a free response question or a multiple choice question. In this case, we'll select free response because most people's names are different, but this will depend on what your question is. You can also use these questions to figure out what topics to cover in your newsletter and, for example, how someone found your newsletter. In this case, we'll be asking for their name, location, and other things so that we can personalize future emails. You can learn more about personalizing emails with the video below. Here we'll be creating a custom field and type in first name as the custom field name. And for the data type, select text. And if you're asking for something like their birth year or age, you would select number here. Now hit create custom field. And now when a subscriber answers this question, whatever they enter here will appear under their subscriber profile under custom fields. To see this, go to audience and subscribers and click on a subscriber profile and then go over to custom fields. Depending on what questions you have and their answers to it, you'll see different information about them. Now go back and you can create more questions by pressing on the plus button. In this case, we'll be asking subscribers for their birth year, the city and country they're from and their occupation. After this, you can preview how your form looks like. And once you're done, you can publish it as well. Now make sure to click the three dots and copy the URL of the survey form after you're done. For more in-depth tutorial about survey forms, you can check out the video below. Now go back to your automation and go back to the email you're editing and add a link or a button to your survey. To create a button, hit the forward slash key on your keyboard and type in button and select custom. Now type in a call to action like view survey and paste in the survey form link here. After you've done this, go back to your automation. The last email we're going to send is a reminder or nudge to subscribers who haven't yet filled out the survey. To do this, click on the plus button and select true false branch. Now hit the settings icon and set the time delay to one day. This means if a new subscriber hasn't filled out the survey within a day, they'll be sent another email. We're also going to add a custom condition, which in this case will determine if a subscriber filled out the survey or not. We'll know if a subscriber filled out the survey form if they have a custom field that was in the survey form. For example, if they have a first name custom field and you haven't linked to this survey form anywhere else, and assuming you haven't collected this custom field in a different survey form, they've done the survey. In this case, we'll select any of the custom fields that were in our survey form and select exists. Once you're done, hit activate and save. Now you see a true and false branch. 
If it's true, that means the new subscriber already filled out the survey, in which case you don't have to do anything. But if it's false, that means they haven't filled out the survey and that you're gonna send them a follow-up email. To create that follow-up email, click the plus button under false and select send email. Now hit the settings icon and set the time delay to one day. And from here, you can create a new email and you can once again remind them with the link or button to your survey form. Now that your automation is all complete, just make sure that it's active in the top left. If so, you're all good to go and you now have a welcome series automation. That's it for the tutorial. If you want more like these, check the link below.